Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. It's the moment that we've all been waiting for. Yes, the end of the Kuwait arc. We are finally moving on to a new arc. This one I'm calling Return to Canada. The way that she has been speaking about this situation, and we'll do a rundown on everything, including rumor and speculation. But the way that she has been speaking about this, it seems as though this is going to be a very extended trip. People have mentioned at least one year if she wants to get WLS. She has talked about actually renting an apartment there. We all know that's going to be extremely difficult with the price of rent, especially in Canada, one of the major cities, Ottawa. I guess it would be a lot cheaper if she decided to stay in Cornwall. I wonder if her and Pete's are going to hang out. They're so so many possibilities. Will she run back to Lachine? Finally, things have changed and she is no longer in Kuwait. But what will become of her marriage with Salah? Is this whole situation karma for her? She rehomed Sam and BBJ and now Salah has rehomed her. Will she fall back into old habits or is she going to accomplish what she came there for? Don't forget, it wasn't because she wanted to get out of this marriage. No, she left Kuwait because she wanted to work on her health and use her health care in Canada that she is entitled to as a citizen. Where will this go? It's anyone's guess. It's foodie beauty. She's proved to be quite unpredictable, but also predictable at the same time. <laughs> Depends on the situation. I've got the tea and my input coming right up. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? This is going to be a good one. All right, you guys, welcome back to our Shantopolis World Update. Last we checked in was on the Sunday night live stream. Foodie Beauty had actually disappeared from YouTube, so we had to run our mouth instead of doing a reaction. But she did not leave Kuwait without going out with a bang, leaving several now-deleted community tab posts taking aim at critics. But other than that, the last time she had posted was six days ago with a video called What I Ate Today, Bees Free, which made me think that there was other days where she was bees in because this was a bees free one. It would seem as though she is struggling to follow this diabetic diet that her doctor in Kuwait had suggested. But now that she's in Canada, she's going to be getting a new doctor. I have heard and even from Pete's, that the wait for medical care right now in Canada, it's absolutely ridiculous. So we'll see how long until she's even able to find a doctor. If things really are as bad as they seem, she might end up going to the emergency room. But I guess we shall see. That's always been content for her if she has to go. She was also, of course, shilling that MLM. It was a mess, boo-boo. People were just waiting for her to get back to Canada so we could move on to this new arc. Well, Salah has officially rehomed Chantal. At least he took her to the vet first. And she touched down in Canada yesterday in a video entitled 24 Hour Journey from Kuwait to Canada. Does anyone think that the new cameo promo is even more annoying than the last? <laughs> She begins with a shot of Kuwait with the caption, Goodbye, Kuwait. Am I reading into this too much? Why goodbye and not see you later? I know many, myself included, think that this is the last time that we're going to see Kuwait, but I thought Foodie had an image to maintain. This is it. This is goodbye, according to her. It then cuts to her and Salah in the most budget-oriented SUV on the market. Too bitchy? They still have plastic wrap on the seats. I would be downright embarrassed to film with that plastic wrap, but they're still rocking it. You have to wonder why. Is this a rental? A lease? On loan? Surely they'd take that off if they purchased it, right? Or is Chantal secreting some sort of fluid? She appears extremely unwell in the initial clip, and it almost feels as if there is some sort of tension between the two, but Salah reads his lines and the first skit is over. Chantal has her whole life jam-packed into two suitcases and one personal item. She begins crying in the terminal, or maybe there was something in her eye and she wanted a dramatic clip. Who's to say? It wouldn't be the first time. Wah! <laughs> These up-close shots really showcase how unwell she actually is. You can see it all over her face. She gets her seatbelt extender and straps in for the long journey home. Chantal admits that going forward, she's going to have to buy two seats because so far she has been lucky, but that luck 
just might run out. Isn't she supposed to be going back to Canada to get care for her diabetes and lose weight? So why is she resigning herself to two seats going forward? Do you guys think that she will be even more vile now that Salah isn't in the other room while she's raging. She has had some pretty rude rage streams in Kuwait, and it didn't matter if Salah was around. But with him taking off the leash, will she really let it all hang out? Chantal says at one point she was begging Allah to let her into heaven because the turbulence was so bad and it felt like she was going to have a heart attack. I'm telling you right now, that is not real. Next, the video cuts to the Kia sitting in an undisclosed driveway. Yes, the old Kia that she would drive to Natter's place. Canadian Beezing is coming soon. Are we going to get a car rage? A trip to Lachine? Chantal, Chantal, Chantal. In the next clip, when talking about missing Salah and her pets, she says that she is not abandoning them, and she chastises us for even thinking so. Where would we get that idea, girl? Salah is going to take care of them, guys. You just have to believe it. I wonder if she finally got that cat fixed. Most likely not. But she did take to her community tab to dispel the rumors about her abandoning the pets. FYI, our pets are not abandoned, nor will they be. Well, they're pretty much abandoned by you, especially because of the fact that you're leaving for a year. You knew that this was not a stable relationship, and yet you insisted on getting a cat. The hamsters, whatever, whatever. You know, Salah can take care of a hamster, right? But you insisted on getting this cat. It was more so just to rub it in your audience faces that you can get another cat and there would be no consequences for you. He loves them so much and they love him to Julia likes Salah better than her, so the last cat she left in a man's care. Yeah, some of that falls on you, Pete. I would never do that, and if you think so, you don't know me, therefore your opinion doesn't matter. Have a nice day. If you think so, you don't know me. The fact is, we know way too much about you, and we've seen you abandon two cats already, so what's a third? How can she even say that with a straight face, knowing her history? She says, I'm in Canada, but I'm bringing my morals with me. I'm bringing the changes with me. I just have to wonder what changes. Literally in the past year, the only thing that is different, the only thing that has changed is her clothes. She's raged. She's eaten thousands of calories for the camera. Oh, but no hamburger eyes bees. That is one thing that did change. So I've been thinking a lot about karma. Foodie loves to throw that word around when she's talking about reaction channels. So it is interesting to see this whole marriage facade crumble to the ground. Chantal has never taken her health seriously. So what makes this different? Why was she so eager to jump at any excuse to make it back to Canada without admitting trouble in paradise that the marriage had failed? This health scare gives her a way out from that sort of I told you so judgment of the relationship. Is this her karma since she always says that for rehoming the cats, letting BBJ live in excruciating pain? Now she has been rehomed and she's living in pain. Now that she has gone back to Canada, I do have to wonder behind the scenes, behind the scenes, did Salah push this on her or was this her idea? Because I do think that she wanted to get out of Kuwait, that she was kind of tired of living there. It's so much different than Canada. She can kind of beat down on Canada and life there. But that was all she knew. She had to have been homesick, leaving for Kuwait, dropping everything. It's been like a little bit over a year. Don't forget, even before she she was diagnosed with diabetes, she had had a little breakdown saying she was going to go back to Canada regardless. So what is it? Did Salah push her to go back to Canada to work on her health? Or did she use this because she wanted a way out? Or is it what she wants us to believe that this is genuinely about her health and she's going to go to the doctor and she's going to take this seriously? I have a hard time believing that. And I'm sure you guys do too. So like I said in the beginning, people have been suggesting that this is going to be for a year because of weight loss surgery. It's a long wait time in Canada. It could be a year. It could be years. And who knows how long it's going to take her to just get that initial doctor's appointment. I don't know because she's diabetic and she needs medicine. Like now, is there a way that they can get her in? Because that's very serious. I'm thinking she's going to have to go to the ER. 
I really have to wonder, is this marriage going to last an entire year living in different countries? The only way that I actually see this working, and Foodie has hinted at this, is if she can find a way to get him over to Canada. That's what he wants in the end. And I can guarantee you that if Salah goes to Canada, those animals will be rehomed to somebody in Kuwait. Who knows what's going to happen to those animals? And people told Chantal, this doesn't look very stable. You're going to be back in Canada before you know it. And she just would not take no for an answer. She had to get that cat just to shove it in our face. So can you imagine the blowback when Salah comes over to Canada and leaves those animals behind? Because that's what's coming. Mark my words. She's back at home. She's got a decreased income from where she was last year. Health issues have caught up to her. And if she wants her own place, she might be paying for two rents, one in Kuwait and one in Ontario or Montreal. Next, Foodie came on with a video entitled, What's Next for Me? She starts the video. She's in the Kia filming. Expect more car videos, I bet, because I'm not sure if she has a space of her own wherever it is that she is staying at this point. I haven't seen many discuss this, but she's staying with her mom or aunt, most likely, right? Will there be conflict? She's older, but growing up, Chantal was a nightmare to deal with. Her mom has even admitted that. And we are back to the shifty eyes in the car. It's very nostalgic, not gonna lie. She pulls out the unicity. Girl, buy, nobody's buying that. Just give it up at this point. She looks like a weight is off of her shoulder. This is the happiest that she has looked in a long time. She's speaking clearly. It's hard to say that she looks good, but she looks better, if that makes sense. She seems more there, more present in the moment, not as though she has this giant weight on her shoulders, even if she does have a lot of weight on her shoulders. Girl, it's all very telling versus her life in Kuwait. Something was off for these last couple of months. You could tell that she was just not happy with her situation. She felt as though she couldn't even go out on her own. Now she has all of her independence back. Her key is back. She can go wherever she wants, and she's not going to feel uncomfortable because this is her home. That has to be very welcome for her. I mean, imagine. She discusses how Salah was worried for her getting on the plane didn't know if she was going to make it, and then talks about how he helped her in Thailand. Why does it feel more like someone helping an elderly woman than a man supporting his wife? That was just the vibes I got from this, him helping her. (laughs) The lady at the gate for her plane set her up with two seats. She knew that this was going to be a difficult journey, but the plane wasn't full, and someone may or may not have had to move for Chantal, so she's definitely going to need that second seat Unless she gets it together, which she already has resigned herself to that second seat. I just can't get over how nice the customer service is on these international flights. When you're flying domestic in the U.S., like your cattle, you have a number, like you don't even have a name. Chantal says that the flight was a B. Her legs, she could feel the pain from sitting for 13 hours. It would be uncomfortable for me, so I can't even imagine what she was feeling on that 13-hour flight. And she swelled up like a balloon, but after she went to sleep, when she woke up, it went down. So it kind of reminded me of ALR in the car when they would go on these road trips. Just a couple of hours to get to the city, right? Lexington, she would swell up like a balloon. And so that made the journey difficult. I have to really wonder how was Kentucky to Oklahoma? Was that excruciating or did they manage to kind of take it easy few hours, stretch your legs? Of course, they had Twinkie, so it would make sense that she would walk Twinkie around every so often at a road stop. What was that tangent about Amber Lynn for? She claims that the Kia is paid off and she'll drive it into the ground because it's a 2016. That's not that old. I have a 2013. I feel kind of the same way at this point. It's low maintenance. It's fully mine. I don't even care. I'm just going to drive it into the ground. So be it. With the cost of living right now, who wants a car payment? She's going to get the Kia checked up and actually clean it. And then it's off to the races. Paces Cipriani's basement. Sorry about it. She claims that she is celebrating Christmas with her family, but she's not going to be celebrating the birth of Christ. She's celebrating family and the winter vibes. 
girl, it's okay. Like, this is the Western world. Half of the people are just celebrating, like, capitalism Christmas, secular Christmas. She says that she is looking for her own place. How long is this relocation? She says that she is looking for her own place. She doesn't mind if it's a studio or a one-bedroom. Something small, something that she can call home here while she is in Canada. So... Just the fact that she's looking for a place tells me that this is going to be a while, like at least a year. How is that going to work out with a marriage? Like, you know, you've heard of people going off to the military, but that's different. It's not going to last. Like, this is so unrealistic. She's going to show certain places in Canada where she grew up, give us story times. And she has some big plans for when she hits 100K subscribers if she ever gets there, girl, because she has been struggling. But I did notice the numbers going up recently. There may be some drama brewing on the horizon. There have been many nasty communities have posts, mostly aimed at FFG. There was like a random person that said something concerning about her that I'm not going to be getting into. <laughs> if you know, you know. There was this whole saga in regards to her 3X jumper because nobody believed that it was 3X. And so she had to go on her community tab and say, hi, 3X, just like I said, even if I was a 6X, I would show it. I don't hide or lie about my weight. And now I think I've proven it enough, so now I'm done. Anyway, I love yourself no matter what. I am here to help myself, and we can always work on ourselves and become healthier, and as a result, happier, inshallah. Chantal has also been hinting at a lol suit in regards to BBJ and how FFG has BBJ. That whole situation played out in, I believe, February of 2023, this year. So it's coming up on a year since FFG received BBJ and Chantal was actually caught in her husband's or whatever you want to call him side chat while he was playing a video game. He's a live streamer, a gamer, live streamer. She said, she says, it's a civil case moron talking about FFG and BBJ. She concocted a whole scheme to steal her. Girl, you just gave her away. You didn't even charge anything. So how can that be stealing? I didn't hand her over to her brother and also many, many things I will be getting her for. Don't worry. So she claims that there is a civil case in the works. I wouldn't hold my breath. I don't think that there's anything in the works. She does like to throw her weight around and kind of threaten these kinds of things. But we know that there's just... There's just no way. The main factor there being money. I mean, she's got to pay rent in Canada if she's going to be getting a new place, not to mention with her medical, like not everything is covered. She does not have the money to be throwing at a frivolous lawsuit right now, a lawsuit that is not guaranteed that she's going to win. But you never know. She could file something. So there you have it. Our girl is back in Canada and things are on return to Canada. Things could get very interesting. Now that her hubby's not in the picture, will Chantal go back to acting more like herself that we had seen in Canada over the years? Will she be tempted by her vices, including schmettables and, of course, fast food? It's even more accessible for her now that she has the Kia and she can just hit up a drive through without having to worry about those pesky delivery fees or sending Salah out to get the food, although that really didn't stop her from gaining a bunch of Kuwait. You know what's interesting in the What's Next For Me video? She didn't really even talk about what was next for her. Most of the video was her talking about the airplane ride and the good things, the bad things, the two seats, her anxieties. Most of it was about Emirati Airways. I was just wondering, like, what is next for her? She talked about the apartment possibly happening and not much about her medical care or whether she has even started to get that ball rolling because that's what she's supposed to be there for. Although we've already kind of dismantled that, wondering if this was just an excuse to get out of a flailing marriage. A lot of people have also been wondering, will she stick to her convictions or will she be tempted by ungodly indulgences. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I'm so glad that we're moving on from Kuwait. I had about had it with that arc. 
Although if you really think about it, it's the craziest thing that she's ever done. She met Salah on the internet, moved in, uprooted her whole life so quick. You have to wonder if now that the dust has settled, it's been like a year, has she begun to regret this situation and her diabetes, her health problems? Was that her way out? Because she has never really taken her health seriously. It does make me wonder, did Salah push her? Or did she take this as her way out? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, guys.